Welcome to the Monday Mailbag. Today's question relates directly to our current drilling program. The question is, what information do we get from our XRF workstation? Well, there's nothing that we do that is more expensive than drilling. And as a result, we place a lot of effort and energy in making sure that we extract the most information we can from each drill hole. The two most important questions when we are drilling a hole are, where are we in terms of the geology? What unit are we in in our layer cake so we can figure out if we're getting close to our targeted feature? And two, are the rocks mineralized? If not, do we need to keep going deeper? And if yes, well we better keep going and not stop until we get the hole through the zone. Unfortunately, when we're dealing with carlin type mineralization, the clues we use to answer these questions are not often visible, meaning one, many of the rock units look the same, and two, mineralized rocks are often indistinguishable from unmineralized rocks. And these are the reasons why in Carlin systems we rely so heavily on sample analysis to tell us where we are in a drill hole and whether the rocks are mineralized. Unfortunately, the turnaround for traditional drilling assays is measured in weeks to even months, and as a result we can't rely on lab-based data to guide our decisions at a drill hole that's currently in progress. What we do have now, though, are the latest generation portable XRF instruments that for many of the elements that we pay attention to can provide us with high quality data to answer our two major questions. Having now a complete set of geochemistry data from our earlier drill holes, we are developing a good handle on the geochemical signatures of each unit so that we can use the XRF data to help confirm which unit we're currently drilling. Then, in terms of mineralization, while the XRF is not well suited to give us gold values, we know that the gold in Carlin systems travels with a characteristic suite of pathfinders that we can detect with the workstation. And this is exactly the information that we used on our last drill hole to confirm when we had hit our targeted mineralized unit and then to confirm that we didn't stop drilling until we had gone completely through our target, which was very important as this was likely the deepest hole that any junior drilled in Nevada last year. So in summary, our XRF workstation provides us with near-time geochemistry data to answer two important questions. One, where are we in the drill hole? And two, are we seeing carlin type mineralization? This represents a new speed of information flow that would not otherwise be possible of waiting weeks to months for lab assays and directly allows us to make better drilling decisions in terms of how deep we take our holes and importantly, where to drill next. We use this information every day and it's been a big improvement to our workflow and we'll be talking more about it as our program continues. So stay tuned, thanks for watching and be sure to submit your questions for the next Monday Mailbag.